Welcome back to Inside Marquette Basketball. I'm Dennis Krause. Ryan Hooper's name is one you may not recognize when you think of Marquette basketball, but as a team manager, he's at every practice and game working to make the Golden Eagles as successful as possible. But it's what he does off the court that makes him a true champion. Each time the Golden Eagles take the floor, Ryan Hooper is right there with them. He's not on the roster, doesn't have a number, he's not wearing a uniform. That part he's already taken care of. Right after high school, um, I enlisted. My high school basketball coach was a former captain in the Army. And uh, him and my grandfather, who had served in the Army during the Korean War, were big influences on me joining the Army. I was in the 82nd Airborne Division out of Fort Bragg, North Carolina, for three years. Just awesome experience. Now a senior at Marquette, Ryan is in his final season with the Golden Eagles as a team manager. School and his basketball responsibilities have certainly kept him busy, but something was missing. Putting on a uniform every day that says that U.S. Army tape, and it's quite the honor and uh, privilege to be able to do that. Once you leave there, you know, you're kind of left with that void of service. And you said you don't like country music, huh? How do, you, how do you survive there in Nashville then? So he looked for a way to fill that void of service while at Marquette. <laughs> we were just sitting in our offices one day, and here comes this lanky redhead walking in, and he said, I just want, what can I do to help? Nice field score! For two weeks each summer, You guys ready? You'll find Ryan leading a group of campers in their daily activities. There you go. This summer, it was a group of 12 and 13 year olds from around the country. The Ohio native found a home here in Wisconsin at Camp Hometown Heroes. Yes, there you go. Good job, Shane. One of a handful of summer camps nationwide devoted to kids who share a very painful bond. They have lost uh, someone who served in the military, uh, either a parent or a sibling. And they are from ages seven to 17. They start young, they come back year after year. The beans weren't very beans good, huh? Were really good. Oh, they were really good? Uh, I never liked them. That void of service filled a week at a time in the woods of Wisconsin. A lot of fun stuff with different activities and the normal camp activities, but what kind of sets Camp Hometown Heroes apart from, you know, just a normal summer camp and what makes us unique is that um, we do do a lot of, you know, hard activities for these kids and it's challenging. Each of the campers get, gets a balloon and they're able to write a message to their loved one. And then uh, we uh, set off the balloons in the air. Some of the messages that they write there for the parents, you know, they just want to be able to share experiences with, with their dad or the, whatever, uh, whoever they lost. It's really ch challenging for a lot of them to uh, be able to, you know, uh, face their, their griefs like that. The camp also has counselors from Kyle's Corner available, a Milwaukee-based group dedicated to helping kids deal with grief. Some of the kids have never dealt with their loss at all. When they're at home, maybe they don't want mom to feel worse, so they don't want to bring up their grief, so they keep it to themselves. And we've had kids who've come here and had their first breakthrough because they realize it's okay to grieve. It's not just okay, it's necessary. So Ryan finds his way back to camp each summer. It's not a good smell. Having volunteered for the organization in many ways. These are all the mustard plants. But it's as a counselor for these kids that just seems to fit. As a soldier, this is, you know, this is what we do. It's a duty and it's a responsibility that we have to uh, take care of uh, the families of fallen soldiers who weren't able to return home. And uh, for myself, it's just really important to, you know, make that uh, sacrifice that those soldiers gave matter. And uh, for me, it's through helping their children. And uh, here at camp, we've created this safe haven for these kids to come together all across the country and they come here on Sunday and none of them, you know, rarely even know each other. And by Tuesday, they're, you know, best of friends and they form this uh, remarkable bond amongst this 
terrible tragedy that they all had to endure and they're able to lean on each other. I think it's just because he has such a pure heart anyway, but I think being a veteran, he probably knows someone who was lost and he can identify with what their kids might be going through. One week of the year, we can kind of, you know, forget all the worries and really uh, embrace and it's the tranquility of being out here in camp. And um, it's just an awesome feeling seeing these, these kids grow and uh, make strides in their grooming process. It's just, it's just awesome. It's, you know, it's a better feeling than being the number one team in the country and, you know, at home.